Hello everyone. This is a video tutorial on how to use Young GoPro drivers app as a driver. So as a driver, your main working tool is Young GoPro. You go to the Play Store or App Store and you download Young GoPro. Once you're done downloading the app, you sign in with your phone number. So you enter your phone number, you're going to receive a six digit confirmatory code. Once you enter the code, the app opens for you and you're ready to work with Young GoPro. How do you start receiving orders? So you need to go online. Tap on the go online button on the screen and immediately you're online. You would notice that the arrow in the middle of the screen or on the map would change color to yellow and the icon on the top left corner is also going to change color to yellow. This means you're online and you can start receiving ride requests. Always make sure you check your internet connectivity because once you tap go online and you're unable to go online, it means that you have unstable internet or your data is turned off. Once you get the right request, you hear the phone ringing and also you're going to get a notification pop up asking you to accept the ride. Tap accept, move to the location of the client by following the map. Once you get to the location of the client, swipe arrive. You should also note that you can call the client through the app or message them in the app. Once your client gets into the ride, kindly start the ride and take the client to their destination by following them up. Once you get to the destination of the client, tap complete or swipe complete. Price estimates will be shown on the screen and you take cash from the clients. We have a feature in the system called chain orders that allows you to earn more. You don't have to wait at any given point in time to get a new request. This happens when you're on a current ride and you're some few minutes away from completing that ride, we can give you chain orders for you to complete. So on any given day, your app should be working fine. If you're not getting orders, there could be several reasons to this. One, it could be that the area in which you find yourself, there are not much clients using the service over there. Or on your app, you could notice that they've written no access at the top right corner. This could be no internet connection, no GPS, low balance, or your account has been blocked due to service violations. How do you resolve this? Tap on the no access. It takes you to the troubleshooting page and all these options will be outlined over there and the app would give you step-by-step -step directions on how to resolve them. Driver's activity just influences the way you accept, complete and cancel ride request. For every ride request that you cancel, you lose activity points. And for every ride request that you complete, you gain activity points. For every ride request that you skip as well, you lose activity points. So for us not to lose activity points, let's try to accept and complete every ride request that we get. If for any reason you are unable to reach a client and you want to cancel, just wait for the waiting period, which is 10 minutes and you can cancel without losing activity points. At the end of every trip, the clients or the rider gets a chance to rate you. So they can give you a five-star rating, they can choose good music, comfortable driving, several options. This would influence whether your rating would go up or it's going to drop. If your rating drops to a certain threshold, you lose access to the app or to your account. After some few days, we allow you back into the service and you have to try and increase your rating. You have to give clients good customer service or good customer experience for them to rate you properly or give you good ratings so your rating can be at a very high standard. A combination of your rating, activity, how long you've been driving on the service and also whether your car is branded or not gives you what we call priority points. The higher your priority points, the quicker and faster you get right requests. So if you drop on your rating, you drop on your activity and you don't drive actively on the service over a certain period, you lose priority points. How do you check your priority points? On the top left corner, the icon, tap on it. Once you're going offline, it gives you details of what you can do to increase your priority points. Branding your car on Yango allows you to get extra priority points. Extra priority points means that you get a lot of clients to pick and once you're getting a lot of clients to pick, you get to make more money. Also, you earn more on the bonuses that you're getting on any given day. It also allows clients to identify your car easily and 
on top of it all the branding is very nice and catchy brand your car on yango we have different types of bonuses that you can get on any given day so there is goal bonus there is map bonus and also there is a minimum guaranteed fair bonus that you can get goal bonus allows you to hit a certain target for any given day and if you are able to meet it you get the bonus attached to it so for example you could do 10 rides and you could get the bonus attached to 10 rides also for minimum guaranteed fare or minimum guaranteed income we guarantee you an amount of money to make on any given day if you're unable to meet that amount of money we will give you the difference on certain times of the day you on your map you would see that the map has lighter purple in color this tells you that this area has high demand and you could move to this area and work over there high demand means more money for drivers clients are given promo codes to activate from time to time and once a client activates a promo code it means that they get discounts on the rides they are taking on yango once you pick a client that has a promo code or has discount on the rides you will notice that there's a difference between the cash that you're supposed to take and what you actually earned please do not panic kindly note that the difference between the two prices is added to your balance instantly after completing that ride on the Yango riders app or clients app riders can add multiple destinations in one order riders can always update the trip or change their destination and riders can also order a ride for someone else there are several ways you can contact us one you can contact us through your partner by calling your partner you would have your issues resolved also you can write to us via the app by going to support on the app tap at the top right corner of the app the page that opens go down to support tap on support you would see contact support kindly tap on that and tap on app help it gives you the option to write to us and we will respond rapidly you can also contact our phone numbers that comes to the hub and also you can visit the hub and have your issues resolved